text to speech is now in beta in subtitle edit and i'll walk you through the first look of how it works and let's get into it so i'm in the releases page and there's a beta version of this as of two hours ago i'll just click on this to download uh once we have a download it's ready there for us let's click on this let's refresh uh let's create a new folder and then just drag this here and then let's extract the contents right here and i can delete this zipped beta file uh, for subtitle edit now let's just do uh, double clicking this more or less of a portable version that's what the beta version is and i'll just go through uh, the normal drill of uh, kind of downloading mpv lib that is for the video player that's what i always do uh, and that's done in like more or less like a second that's done okay click ok and if i click on video you'll see the text to speech and add to video option here really awesome but i'll go first to audio to text uh, whisper and download ffmpeg because i'm going to automatically transcribe uh, my video into text using whisper that's okay that's done and then uh, i won't download puff views for faster whisper I'll go with const me because it's a little bit faster on my end and then just download uh, a model here let's go with base click on download it's also not that uh, big uh, but I kind of like uh, to see what I've been seeing with subtitle edit it's been growing tremendously now text -to speech is probably not for everybody but there's probably somebody who will find a use for uh, text to speech in their workflow so I uh, just recommend that you can test it out during the beta phase so that once an official version is actually out, uh, most of the bugs and most of the recommendations will be factored in. So I've got that uh, ready for us to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a video file. And then uh, we're going to automatically transcribe uh, this into uh, subtitles, audio to text whisper. I'm going to use the engine const me, the base model and then click on generate and that does it in almost a second or something and our subtitles are ready for us to go you can fine tune your subtitles the way you want them to be uh, so that once you're doing the text to speech everything it's going to be uh, the way you want it to be now next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the auto translate and click on this you can use whatever uh, engine that you have working on your end but i'm going to go with google translate v1 api and translate our subtitles to Swahili and then click on translate that's also super super fast uh, I feel like they look good Katika video here okay yeah looks good and we're going to get this now let's use the text-to-speech feature so go to video text-to-speech and add to video I'll click on that and this is more or less the interface we've got the settings we have the engine and there are a couple of engines available at the time of recording this video. As always with subtitle edit, they keep building on from what we have. So we've got Piper, it's fast and good, supports a ton of languages. We've got Tortis, TTS, it's very slow, very good. We've got Coqui, TTS. We've got Microsoft Speech Synthesizer, very fast, it's robotic. And then we've got 11 Labs Text to Speech. And if you have uh, maybe a subscription for 11 labs, the API option, this is probably going to help you a lot, especially for different languages. And you can see the voices have already been uh, kind of added uh, right inside here. So if you have an API key, you can just populate it here. For this video, we're going to be testing Piper. So it's fast and good. The voice we are looking for uh, is for Kiswahili. And uh, that is what we have with our translation here. I'll go to Swahili, scroll down, just click on that. And you can always test the voice, how it sounds, uh, based on the text that you have input here to see, if it's that, to see if that's what you want in your video. You also have the option to uncheck add audio to video file, but I want to leave it as it is, and it's going to create a new file. So if I click on generate from speech to text, and because it's the first time I'm using it, we're going to have to download Piper. So I'll click on that, download Piper text-to-speech, click yes. Then it's going to download 
uh, more or less what we have to work with and then it's going to generate speech from text I think this could be a bug of sorts uh, that's my assumption but it does the download twice so I think that's a bug uh, maybe that's something I can mention in the uh, on github uh, so that Nicolaj can try and fix that it's adjusting the speed of uh, our audio to the video and merging the audio to the video so if I play this video katika video hii nitakuonyesha jinsi ya kuongeza maniku kwa video zako za media ya kijamii TikToks Now I'll note I notice that it's super super fast but if I look at uh, the translation that we have here that's what we're getting with this particular video it's actually reading out more or less the text to speech is working as it should be it's just that it's super super fast uh, if I was to read that I would probably go something like katika video hii nitakuonyesha jinsi ya more or less something of that sort uh, a well paced kind of uh, uh, audio file Tales, aha kasana ukitumia discord nilikuwa tunaongeza emojis mtaji fulani ulikuwa ambayo ungependa kuweka herufi kubwa mtindo wa Alexa na kila kitu ambacho ungependa kuona shikilia uh, some things there more or less unnecessary pauses and all that hadi mwisho nitakuonyesha jinsi ya kufanya hii super haraka sana asante kwa kutazama na tuanze Sounds good. Well, uh, more or less I wouldn't uh, criticize it so much but I wish there's an option maybe to kind of adjust or make uh fine tune more or less how the speech is going to be, how fast uh maybe the pauses, determine the pauses and more uh, more or less something of that sort. But first look, uh I feel it has some work uh, coming through. I believe especially with the incorporation of things like 11 labs text to speech this is actually going to be highly useful for anybody who wants to do AI dubbing of the subtitles to maybe a different uh, language uh, it's something that I believe uh, is going to be very useful now that it's in beta and this is a fast look video always remember to go over to subtitle edit more or less uh, the issues section here uh, if you want to raise a new issue, uh, kind of more or less give suggestions and so on and so forth, you can do that here. Uh, if you see other threads on text-to-speech, you can also comment on them, give your input, so that we can actually be able to have a better version of what we're looking to get. If you also have other engines that are free, because more or less uh, Subtitle Edit has really done a lot on free options, uh, just uh, let uh make a post here and hopefully nicolage uh, is actually going to add that but that is a fast look on the text to speech in subtitle edit has a lot of work but i feel that uh, that's the right step in the right direction so that's a fast look i hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching